merriment. Can there be too much holiday cheer in a senior's house or in their room? Yeah, um, from a personal standpoint, point, we had great grandma at my house for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And after about, let's see, the, just barely after the meal was served and before dessert, grand, great grandma's got her walker ready to leave. Um, for a lot of seniors, it's overwhelming. Um, a lot of seniors have a, a uh, routine that they stick with. They get up in the morning, have their meal, very quiet, just getting out of the house, getting in a coat, change, um, the change in environment, going outside, driving for maybe a half hour, hour or more to get to somebody's house. It's a lot and it's tiring. And so some people might set aside a room where grandma can take or grandpa can take a nap. We work with a lot of families where the elderly loved one has some dementia. It's even uh, more difficult for someone with dementia to be in a very stimulating environment. Does it raise a point of which, where you place grandma or great grandma at the table? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, um, having a seat for her at the end of the table rather than in, in the middle with so many other people around her could make a difference. Vision and hearing loss is, you know, very common uh, as you age, and that's another thing to know about your elderly loved one. So thinking about those those sensory changes are important too. What about all those joyful little kids that are running all around? Can it be too much for grandma and grandpa? Yeah, absolutely, it can be. I mean, most, you know, many uh, older folks, you know, love children, but. Uh, it can be too much of a good thing. Arrange some time with, say, grandma, with the great-grandson, just the two of them, or maybe an adult and the two of them together. That is likely to be so much more enjoyable. Imagine they're than into a, a routine, and it, just, it takes them out of their typical environment. When the little kids are running around, um, they do want to see them, but not for several hours. And other family members, do they kind of overcompensate? Oh, that happens, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, you know, the intent is good, but again, they're not thinking about how that experience is actually going to be for their elderly loved one. What about alcohol and medications and food mm -hmm. and medications at the family functions? What responsibility, say, does the host have to look at or know about grandma or grandpa's um, medication schedule? If you do know they're not supposed to be having alcohol with their medications, obviously you're, you're not going to give it to them, although they may want it, and that may become an issue. Just to be careful of what they're taking, whether it's alcohol or food, just, just to know what they're comfortable with, if somebody's diabetic, um, what they need to have and what they shouldn't be having. Are there good gifts to buy a senior mm -hmm. or good things to do in, in replacement for gifts. What, what do you suggest? A great gift for a senior who's living alone is a lifeline. Usually grandma doesn't need another sweater or another robe or another pair of slippers. Then you know if grandma's by herself or mom or dad is are by themselves, if they fall, anything happens, they have trouble breathing, anything. You can They know they can get help right away. Pictures, fabulous gift. Um, where you, you know, whether they're in a picture frame or not, or um, photo albums, and put a few photos in of the recent pictures of family from what vacation or not, whatever, so that they can see what's going on, so they feel a part of things. I love uh, movies, you know, mm -hmm. old movies or movies that you think they would enjoy, books. Yeah. Those are the kinds of things that uh, many of us don't buy for ourselves, but you know, they now have the time, hopefully, to enjoy those. How, how can smaller children, how can you encourage them to give appropriate gifts? Things like calendars, you know, with their pictures mm -hmm. uh, on them, or uh, books that they've made, you know, mm -hmm. of their drawings or pictures of them. It's also coffee mugs with the kids' faces on it, but kind of an important topic to bring up along this line would be the uh, senior giving gifts back. It makes for many seniors who are on a fixed income, the holidays, it's so stressful knowing I'm on a fixed income and I have these 10 grandchildren I want to buy gifts for, and it's a very financially stressful time for seniors.